How's it going everybody? Marco here with Mezcal Buzz. Don't forget a new video every Mezcal Monday and I'm making my way through Roma right now. And if you guys saw the podcast episode with Diego and Bernardo, we talked about their new Mezcaleria Tlecan and we told them we were gonna drop in. So we're actually gonna do that now. Let's check it out. Bernardo, como estas? Bien, tú? Cool, we made it, the Tlecan, yes. we're here. We're happy to, to have you and then welcome to you and to everyone. Should we go inside? Yes, welcome. Right on, let's go. Come on in. All right, Bernardo, thank you, we're here, we're all set up. I, I want to say that I'm impressed with the setup and the decor, it looks awesome. Can Thank you tell us a bit about the inspiration behind it all? Of course, this is, uh, our inspiration was obviously uh, Tenochtitlan, which we're at. This, this piece that we have here that we made in collaboration with the Sample Studio okay. and Anagramma Design Studio. And uh, it, it's an interpretation of a piece that was found in Teotihuacan. And it represents Mictlantecutli, which is the, the god of uh, death or the underworld. What's the experience like here? What do you guys have? Well, we have with? always around 12, 13, 14 kinds of mezcal. They're all, uh, they're all produced in small batches by uh, traditional uh, mezcaleros. And we have from all over the country. And uh, we also have uh, cocktails, a little bit of classics and a little bit of uh, our own concoctions. I think one really cool thing is like you mentioned that you'll find mezcales here from all over the Mexican Republic. So it's not just, oh, mezcal, let's go and themed around Oaxaca as you'll find most places. Also our, our staff is, uh, they, they know each mezcal's notes and also uh, the, where it's from and all the info. So if you're new to mezcal, you can come here and you can learn about it. And if you already know your stuff, you can just go straight to, the, to them and just try them. This is a uh, verde from Durango, from okay. Gilberto Roldan. It, it has a very strong lactic note and a little green apple. This is uh, a tobala from uh, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Maybe chamomile a little bit, but yeah. At first, like in the very beginning, like on the tip of the tongue. Yes. This is a uh, papalomet oh, cool. from Puebla, and it's it's uh, it's a pechuga. Very smooth, very smooth. aromatic, right? I just love tasting different mezcales because how different they are. You put a good lineup here because they've all been very different from each other. So yeah, yeah. because it's different areas of the country with different uh, traditions and cultures, but also they're very different ecosystems that you get here. This is from the desert, the one from Durango. This is from the highlands in, in Oaxaca, okay. and this is from Puebla, which is like a, a, a lowlands kind of uh, yeah. in the border with the mountains. Tell me a bit about um, your mixologies. You said the staff is very well trained. We have a very good looking cocktail here. One of the part, my, my partner, Eli Martinez, she was uh, Pujol for 10 years. All of them are their, her interpretations of classics or original uh, concoctions. So this is a... Mezcal margarita, or what do we have here? Yes, mezcal margarita, and uh, it's like a, the traditional, but it's all made here. It's all fresh pressed juice from the day. Okay. And we also make the salt with a little bit of a hibiscus. So you can taste the, oh, the, the freshness. freshness of the juices totally come through. Yeah. Yes, we never use bottled juice, and also we don't. Do, you we don't even use our old juice. It's, Ooh, it's good. It's made in the moment. I could have this for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So everything um, made fresh here? Everything's made fresh here. For example, in the Negroni that we have, we put cacao nibs into the Campari so that it's infused with the cacao. And in the, in the Martini, we um, infuse the vermouth with uh, Papantla vanilla pod. Cool. Mm -hmm. Natural pod, local from Mexico, and we steep that so the flavors are all natural from where, from, from where they are. And how about um, food and like uh, pairings, or do you, what, do you offer food as well? Yes, we do have food. It's all, um, it's all made to share a little bit. Yeah. So it's all bite-sized and finger food that we, we serve. We also have uh, 
a uh, sweet bread, I'm not, you know what that bread is, molleja in Spanish. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, and it's in aguachile, so it's different, and with avocado, also with tortillas. We have a sickle pack, that it's, a, it's, a, it's a dish made in the South, uh, in the Caribbean. It's, okay. a, it's a Mayan dish, it's, it's a kind of, I would probably describe it as a hummus, but it's made with uh, pumpkin seeds, so it's green. Okay. And it has uh, also a uh, tomato, and it's it's like a dip, and you get it with tatopos and like so. Sounds delicious. Yes. And sounds very unique. I think everything from walking through the door has been a very unique experience. So I highly recommend somebody that wants to try something new, something out of the ordinary, is going to enjoy an experience here. Right on. We are walking a very fine line here between fine dining and also having a good time, like a mezcaleria should be. There were almost no upscale mezcalerias. And that are mezcalerias, not restaurants or whatever. Sure. Uh, and we wanted to give it this sort of um, whiskey bar feel in that you, you can come and taste and really taste. And yeah. then as the night evolves, it just it, it becomes a party. Cool. So I think uh, I'm going to finish off these mezcales here and this cocktail with Bernardo here. Highly recommend Flecan for you guys in Roma and Mexico City. If you're around, you're going to want to visit this spot. Salud and welcome. Thank you.